guys, Quickle Pickle here, and today I am doing my video on the first ever leader of the gods, Ra. Ra was also the god of the sun. With that said, let's get started. Ra was a man with the head of a hawk and a solar disc covering above his head. Ra was a god of order and of the sun. Ra drove the solar bark around the earth every day and night. The solar bark would bring the sun around the earth. The ancient Egyptians believed that every night, Nut, the sky goddess, swallowed Ra, plunging the earth into darkness. Then Ra was reborn in the morning, making it sunrise. Ra had many different forms for different times of the day. In the morning, he was a scarab-headed man named Kepri. At noon, he was Horakadi, who was a solar disk, and Autumn at noon, who was a man with a ram's head. Ra created himself from the sea of chaos before time. Then he went on to create the universe. Ra was the father of Shu, god of air, and Tefnut, god of moisture, although he created them rather than giving birth to them. Ra eventually combined with Amun, a similar sun god, creating Amun-Ra. During the Amarna period, Ra, along with all the other gods, was replaced by Aten. Although being the sun god, Ra's opposite and equal was not Khonsu, the moon god, rather Apophis, the serpent of chaos. Ra's children, Shu and Tefnut, were the first godly couple, and gave birth to Nut and Geb. Nut and Geb wanted to have children, but Ra forbid this. Eventually, Nut and Geb were able to work around the curse, and had their children after all. They were Osiris, Nethys, Set, Isis, and Horus the Great. These were Ra's great-grandchildren. Ra was the f first god, therefore the first pharaoh of the gods, although Isis wanted her husband, Osiris, to become the pharaoh, so she poisoned Ra. Ra agreed that if Isis gave her the cure, Osiris would be the pharaoh of the gods. Isis agreed and gave Ra the only cure to the poison. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time on Quickle Pickle. Goodbye!